as much to the annoyance and frustrating of Liam the Terrible, um, we are probably going to go now and have to change the whole layout. Please come down over there. Has it? Yeah. Oh, God. It's starting to look like a camper van. It's I... All night, it was just chaos. Oh. This has probably been the uh, biggest van build update so far. Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam, a married couple who recently sold our home and possessions to pursue full-time van life in the UK. Whilst we have loved the adventure so far, this winter has had its fair share of challenges. From snowstorms to gas shortages, Christmas day disasters, dodgy park ups, trying to keep warm in the van and generally adapting to living in a tiny home on wheels during some really cold weather. We converted our Ford Transit van originally for holidays and trips, not knowing that one day we would, in fact, be living in it. And for this reason, the bed in the van was built widthways, which unfortunately is too short for Liam to get a good night's sleep. So after almost a year of travel and much deliberation, we took the huge risk and bought a big green removals van, which we are currently turning into our new tiny home on wheels. So if you would like to see updates of our new van build and what life is like living on the road in Britain, then please subscribe and hit the thumbs up button as we bring you new adventures every week. We start this episode in the Midlands on our way to a party and it's the penultimate day before we have to agree upon the final layout of the van. The pressure is on as we continue winter van life in the UK. Welcome back to the channel. We are in Lincolnshire and we are about to go to the huge party. Remember the one that um, Janine was trying to get squeeze into her dress for? That's what we're going to. It's a private party. So one of our friends who organizes quite a large festival uh, every year, is, is it's his birthday, it's his 30th birthday. So we're heading there right now. It's on paper gonna be the biggest party I think we've ever been to, a private party we've ever been to. So we're dead excited for it. Uh, we've got a bit of getting ready to do in the back of the van. We've got to go to the after party venue first, drop the van off, and then we've got to get a taxi and go into Derby, which is where the main event's happening. So we'll keep you updated as we go along. is just not gonna hold up. Taxi will be here in five minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so we are in such a rush. Um, <coughs> we're running a bit late. We are getting picked up by the taxi in about <coughs> in about five minutes and um, and we're not ready. <laughs> so And you're vlogging. And <laughs> Janine is so committed that she's vlogging right now. <laughs> um yeah it's and it's so windy out there oh my god I uh I'm just wearing this little cardigan. It's cold, it's windy, and I'm just gonna turn up looking a right mess at this rate. And I wish I had a scarf to put over my hair, but oh well, never mind. Let's go. I don't look half as good as Janine does, but. Yes, you do. <laughs> look but hot. I'm wearing all sort of um, stuff. Um, I've got some new vegan trainers though, vegan Reebok classics. Very that's nice. my that's my effort, but the rest of it is all recycled, upcycled stuff. So, anyway, let's get go let's get going. Let's go. Taxis waiting. Yeah. We caught trains and taxis to get to Derby, where the party was being held. We started drinking immediately. Saw Jordan, the birthday boy, and sunk a few Jaeger bombs whilst waiting for a surprise special guest to make an appearance. And the special guest happened to be someone that both Liam and myself absolutely love called Frank Turner. Okay, Frank Turner was absolutely amazing, but for us, the night kept getting better. We went backstage and enjoyed him singing to about six of us before meeting and doing a tequila together. We then drank champagne on a crazy limo ride to a mansion where we partied all night. But what goes up must come down and the next morning we were feeling pretty bad. Whenever you're down, out in the cold, faithless and dark. Stories untold. Come take my hand and walk there with me. I know a place where we can be. 
Welcome back to the channel. We are heading to Barnsley to go see our big green removals van and see where we're up to and where we're going with it. The most important aspect of this week is where we're going with the with the vehicle. Uh, Liam the Terrible is working on it. Um, the layout in our head has changed dramatically since we've started it. We had some advice about a certain layout. Um, Janine and I, as you know, are quite impulsive people. We're quite trusting in people and we were going to go with that. Um, <clears throat> since then, we've explored different possibilities and we feel like a different layout will be better. So, um, as much to the annoyance and frustrating of Liam the Terrible, um, we are probably going to go now and have to change the whole layout of the van. And he's there in Barnsley now waiting. So, we'll see how he reacts to that. But that's definitely what this week's all about for us, is just working out a finalised plan of the layout of our new home. We headed off to Liam the Terribles in Barnsley to deliver the news and to see if the new plan was achievable. Liam discussed the new idea with him and worked out how to make it possible. Okay, so the layout as it stands, with um, taking into account all of the fixtures and fittings, and so it's actually doable, um, because there's a lot to take into account. Um, is this. This is the final, final, final layout. Um, we're going to go for a door here to the outside. The bed's going to stay where it is. Uh, we're going to have a ladder into the bed. The kitchen is going to start on the other side of the door. So the kitchen's going to start here. It's going to go all the way to about here. Doesn't seem like a very big kitchen, but it is. There's a cooker, fridge, oven, all that sort of stuff, all on this side. And that's when the seating area is going to start there. On this side, as you walk through the door, the first thing opposite will be a rectangular shower. So not square, so it's going to come up to the level of the, the doorway to the cab. And you're going to have a shower to about there. And then we're going to have a sink. Next to the sink will be the log burner. Yeah. Log burner, and that's when the seating starts yep. all around there. The kitchen is going to be able to hopefully if we want it to, open up so we can have more surface area, especially over the door area. Um, oh, nice. Which would be really good. Yeah. And then this side will be an L slash U shape seating area with a place to be able to sit and eat with a table in yeah. here. That sounds really good. Whilst we're in the back of the van, just want to address uh, a few things because there's some uh, re repetitive common uh, questions that we're getting from people. Thank you so much for leaving comments about potential layouts and concerns and problems and stuff. We have a number of people thinking about all the different aspects of the van. Liam the Terrible is a professional. He's on a yard with someone else who's um, good at all this sort of stuff as well. We've lived in a van for a year, so we are, we've all got, we're like a big sort of brainstorming cloud. Anyway, one of the most repeated questions at the moment is the bed. The bed is a king size bed now. Um, He's cut into the uh, the insulation only by 25 mil. There was 50 mil of insulation there already. <clears throat> so it's already got more insulation than our transit one does. So we know that that'll be absolutely fine. It is a king size bed. A king size mattress will fit on here. Uh, and that's what we intend to do. The, the next one is <laughs> people think, I don't know where the confusions come about, that with the double front seat, that needs to go. And then Janine spoke about cutting off one of the seats, I would swap that double bench front seat for a single one any day of the week. If someone turned up and said, well, you give me a swap for it, I would just swap it there and then. I am not attached to that bench seat in the slightest. If anybody searches for a Citroen Relay single seat, whether it be a driver or a passenger, people are asking for 400 pounds or thereabouts for a single tatty old seat. Would you pay 400 pounds for a single seat? I don't think so. Or you'd at least think about it, which is what I'm doing. I'm exploring different possibilities first. It's a lot of money and we, we our, our budget is gonna be close to the mark with this already. This is a Citroen Relay um, L3 um, van. So it was chosen and we got really, really lucky with it as well because it's really light. It's a really, really light van and it's got one of the best payloads on it as well. So we've taken all of that into account when we were doing it as well. So light van, I want a single seat, but they're bloody expensive. We'll probably end up buying one anyway. And this is a king size bed. 
Oh my god, honestly, it is so cold out there. My fingers <coughs> are bright red and yeah, I'm just hiding in the van now because I just can't handle how cold it is. And it's a really sunny day, but um, it's there's just like a big shadow in this sort of uh, workshop area. So yeah, I'm hiding in our van. <laughs> Um, but they're all out there and they're talking about like um, paint because we're getting this door so we're going to have to paint the door green because otherwise it's just going to stand out and look really awful. So we've got to make sure that we pa can paint the door before we fit the door and we are quite keen, Liam the Terrible is quite keen on fitting the door this week so we've got to try and organise that and make sure that it happens really, really quickly. So that's what they're doing now. And I am going to check out where we're going after here because I think we're going to leave soon. We left Liam the Terribles and headed to a place called Hebden Bridge. We need to stick close to the Barnsley area for the van build and this place was only an hour's drive away. By the time we got there it was dark so we searched park for night to find our sleeping grounds for the evening. Okay so we're in the middle of nowhere pretty much. On It's like a main road but... Um, it's out in the middle of nowhere. It's really dark everywhere and stuff. Um, I'm getting straight into stealth mode um, instantly because, yeah, there are cars going past and stuff. And because it's so dark as well. So I'm just going to put up the blinds now. I'm going to have a little walk and see if there's anywhere better. See if there's, see if there's spots, okay. Yeah, and Liam's going to go and see if there's anywhere better. I'm just going to move it forwards a bit because we're right on the edge of a turning for a car park. And if anyone were to leave the car park, wanted to leave the car park, they wouldn't be able to see, look left because we're too tall. So I'm just going to move it on a bit. We parked up in a better location before Liam made us a banging chilli. We watched Silver Linings playbook and hit the sack for what I can only call a very rocky night. How'd you sleep um, on the windiest night known to man? It was just chaos, isn't it? I, All night it was just chaos. Oh, that, it was actually a bit scary. Could run away, run away. I had nothing more to say. last night in the van because the van was just shaking and uh, and the wind kept coming along in like big gusts and it scares the life out of you when you're in there and suddenly it just feels like it's gonna topple over it's really really scary um, and then it will go really calm for a bit and then do it again a constant wind would have been okay I'd have probably slept through that but the like randomness of it was just scary. Over here, I'll walk over here, there's a tree that has come down in the wind. It's a good job it fell that way because there's loads of cars over here on this um, side. So, and we're quite close to it actually. That's definitely something that me and Liam need to remember in the future is to not park near trees when it's like this. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the van now because it's just too cr crazy and chaotic out here. It's windy, isn't it? It's really windy. A tree's come down over there. Has it? Yeah. Oh, God. Not on a van or anything. 
Luckily, that, it went honestly, that way. I was I when I, when we parked up last night because of the night before being so windy. Yeah. I thought we can't park near any trees. Yeah, I, I was saw, just saying that. I, I saw a picture of a tree come down on a van yesterday. There was a fresh fresh picture as well. Really. It's just honestly, this sort of wind. It was it was so. I mean, it's still really windy. Yeah. And we've got to remember that tonight as well. Like wherever wherever we park up. No trees. No trees. And not on a hill, please. Can we get, can we get past? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not on the road. The wind was way too much for us, so we headed down to check out the town and grab a coffee. So now we are about to go to a place where we've just checked in the book and um, there's a place around here where Wuthering Heights and Jane Eyre Wuthering Wuthering What? What? W W U Wuthering 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 yeah Wuthering Heights Is that right? Uh, Wuthering 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 W U Right I'm going to start again Maybe we should again. be going to the <laughs> Okay so we have just uh, looked up in the book um, to see where we're going to go next and Liam has found a place called Withering Heights No! <laughs> oh, we've tried ages <laughs> to try and get this one thing to said right It's called Hayworth anyway, that's where we're going Hayworth, okay we're going to Hayworth We made our way to this beautiful little village of Hayworth where we spent some time walking around the cute streets before deciding to grab some food and head to our park up for the evening we found a park up in the centre of Hebden Bridge Town tonight as we decided to go to a local picture house and watch a film called Belfast. It was a really good film. We went back to the van and hit the sack. Sometimes I make this life thing harder than it needs to be. So why do I worry about what I can see? I've been stressing about money for my rent But the money that I spend that's Good morning everyone Today we have woken up in a car park in the centre of Hebden Bridge um, and yeah it was actually a really really peaceful park up considering it's right in the centre of town we were the only cars or vans um, here last night. The whole car park was empty and there wasn't a single soul around. It was crazy. The first time we've had like um, a park up in the centre of town like this that's been so quiet. It was actually really good. But I'm on the way to top up our parking now um, because we have to start paying in like 20 minutes. And uh, so it's only like 70p for an hour. Okay, cool. Got my ticket. Hiya. Morning. How are you? Oh, it's all going off in here. We've got the diesel heater shutting down, <laughs> which is always a bit of a palaver, isn't it? Makes a bit of noise. And um, I've just wiped the, wiped the condensation off the windows. There wasn't much because it's not freezing cold out there, is it? No, it isn't. It's really mild, actually. Because it's damp, and it's damp yeah. as hell. We have no water left. And at the cinema last night, I asked her to fill up. And she said, how much do you want? I was like, it's a 10 litre jug, and she gave us that much. So <laughs> we need more water. So I'm gonna have to top up with that and refill it at a cafe this morning. It's almost like a bit of a priority, otherwise we're gonna have no water tonight. Um, so that's on the list. that's on the agenda list this morning but it's all good. We headed to a cafe for coffee and Liam had a vegan breakfast. I topped up the water, which was a huge relief and we made a plan for the day. Oh my God, horrible, drizzly day. Um, so I just wanted to address my cough because I know that I've been coughing a lot in this video. Um, I held back actually in the last video and I cut out whenever I coughed. So, um, 
but it's actually my cough's got so bad now that I don't think I can cut it out of this video unfortunately um, so I may as well just explain it so yeah I don't have COVID <laughs> and that's the main reason for me wanting to explain my cough um, is because people probably are gonna think that I've got it um, and I don't I've done numerous tests um, just to clarify to the people that I see that I don't have COVID just in case they're worried but I know that I don't have it and I know that it isn't that I get really really bad coughs whenever sort of the season changes um, I get it about three times a year I've been to the doctors about it and they can't figure it out I've been tested for asthma and things like that I've had chest x-rays and they can't see anything so I've actually like done everything I can to try and fix it um, I now take like medication when it comes on and stuff like that but only stuff you buy over the pharmacy um, and it doesn't work it doesn't help at all um, there's nothing I can do about it apart from live with this cough I'm gonna have it for quite a long time now unfortunately but anyway that's it said and done I've got to live with it end of okay so unfortunately we're leaving uh, Hebden Bridge now um, mainly because it's raining constantly um, so where we're going to is we're heading to Sheffield um, why we're heading to Sheffield other than the fact it's an awesome city and it's where near where I grew up and where I went to university you you haven't seen but I've had Liam the Terrible contacting me like constantly I've just got a message from him just now what's he saying now oh well, anyway it's basically we've got to make decisions on um, the shower the shower the sink the cooker the oven and the log burner and we've got to order all of that stuff like now today so because it takes a little bit of time to work out we're gonna to go to Sheffield um, get the shoes work that stuff out speak to Liam the terrible and then because Sheffield's right by Barnsley we'll probably we'll probably try and wild camp in Sheffield tonight and see what that's like and then go to Barnsley tomorrow and see Liam the terrible and see where we're up to with the van conversion Here, this is where I went to uni. This is my student area. I've lived for many years on this very road. And today I am returning and wild camping in a white transit van. <laughs> well, it's all kicking off round here. Um, it's been a bit of a car accident and uh, they're arguing, massively arguing in the streets. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna go. <laughs> I'm just glad that we, it was right behind our van. I'm just glad we weren't involved. We headed into Sheffield city centre for a wander around and to see the sights. Sheffield is an absolutely huge industrious city, previously renowned for its steel industry. The city centre has some really great shops and Meadow Hall is one of the largest shopping centres in the UK. It's a real student town with bars and nightclubs, lots of real ale tap bars, lots of restaurants and great vegan food. So we have made it back to the van now. Um, we spent the day in Sheffield, it's actually really nice, uh, just walking around and stuff. So we came back to the van and we've decided that we're gonna move on and find somewhere a little bit more stealthier because we feel like we're right sort of, I don't know, quite visible to people here. Um, so we just want to duck out the way. Liam also wants to go to an area where there's lots and lots of food joints because he fancies a curry. So that's what we're going to do. Just an Indian takeaway will do. <laughs> okay, after driving for about 10 minutes and not finding anything, we came back to the spot that we started at. Um, it's, it's a little bit more stealth. It's a little bit more stealth. We've moved along three or four parking spaces, <laughs> and it's a little bit darker and a little bit more sort of like we're not we're not disturbing anybody by being here. Um, now we've just got to look like a white transit van that's um, parked here overnight with no two, without two people living in the back of it. Exactly. Lights out. Lights out time. <laughs> we chilled out and watched Only Fools and Horses before falling asleep. Down in the dungeon is all we know. Where the shining light we never. Happened. We've had a really slow start because Janine was editing 
until the midnight or whatever and then she decided to get into bed and then realized that she's lost something which happens if you're married to Janine you'll know that she um, she loses something every single day and it's lost forever until she finds it again and she never actually loses anything and last night was the same <laughs> same thing except it was something a little bit more important so she went mental she turned the whole place upside down at like half <laughs> half twelve and I had to calm her down and say look we'll find it tomorrow morning we always do She's very worried. She went to bed, she woke up, and she found it first thing this morning. It's the first thing she managed to put her hands on. So, we've, we've woken up late because of that, and um, don't get married. <laughs> Good morning. This is where we parked up last night. Not Once again, not so glamorous. Um, this is actually the street that I um, <clears throat> lived on whilst I was at university. It's called Cherivel Road in Sheffield in their sort of Ecclesall Road area, the student area. Um, I've lived here for a, a few years on and off. Um, so it's been really not, but I've not returned for like 15 years, maybe four, 13, 14 years. I can't remember how long ago I went to university. So it's been really, really awesome to be able to come back and be able to sort of do a bit of free camping um, on the street that I used to roam about. I even went for a curry at the curry house that I used to get curry from when I was here. So, so it's a really, really good nostalgic place to park up. Um, here last night and I really enjoyed it. Um, we are going to get up, um, go and use the facility somewhere at a local Starbucks I think and um, there's an independent cafe along here that I want to go and try some vegan food at and then we're going to go to Barnsley and get an update about the uh, whole new week's worth of van building. Um, so really really looking forward to that um, so stick around for that because at the end of this video we'll show it. We headed to the amazing Australian inspired vegan cafe close to where we parked checked out their selection of sandwiches and cakes, then made our journey to go to see Liam the Terrible and check out the update on our van. Oh, isn't it? She's moved. Shower's in. And the shower tray arrived. The shower tray just arrived with that. Jesus Christ. Oh, nice. And the door. Oh my God. I didn't even notice the door. The door? Yeah. Oh no, the door, the door's oh. not empty. He's painted first. It's not very wide, oh, okay. is it? That's brilliant. I'm very happy I, with I that. I've the side out so you can see where it's going. You might not be able to see it on camera, but uh, I've been I know. Uh, put it on with Sharpie, that's where the door is. This? That's it. That's how wide the door is, just that? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 I can see that. All the way to the top. It looks bloody tall from the outside, but yeah. when you're on the inside, it's, you know. Yeah. Liam talked us through the progress from this week and explained some of the logistical things he will be doing to make sure practicalities of the layout work seamlessly. For example, the shower is right by the bed, so he has some ideas to prevent the bed getting wet, which is exactly what you want to hear from someone building your van. So what do you think, Liam? I mean, it's amazing. Uh, it's starting to look like a camper van. It's starting to look like a camper van. Uh, we've got a side door in. This is a really big development. And the side door's over there, just sat there waiting to go on. It's a, it's a horse, what are they called? Horse? Horse box. Horse box door. Uh, reinforced steel horse box door, so it's safe and it's secure and everything. And uh, the, bed's all, the bed's all done, it's a king size bed. We've got a shower, the shower tray arrived today, uh, which has been really good. It's been diff difficult to try and find a shower tray to fit in this space. So this is the shower and the toilet. Um, the log burner arrived today as well. That's there, that's gonna go literally where it is now, uh, around the seating area and um, yeah. Like, and then, and then this other thing here as well, These, this is how we're gonna get in and out of bed. The good thing about this is it takes up no space whatsoever. And this is really important for us. So there's no like protruding steps. It's literally just that, that's the bed. This is an entrance way. This is the kitchen. That's the shower, toilet. Uh, we're gonna have a sink here as well. And then all of this is gonna be seating area. And it's just gonna be amazing. Uh, no more windows on this side, all the windows on that side. This has probably been the uh, biggest van build update so far. Um, and it's a big one. A lot has changed. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited now. Um, we've just been talking to Liam the Terrible who's gone through like all of the sort of layout that he's done and the layout that we're going to do as well and it's really starting to take shape. It's really exciting actually just to think that this is mine and Liam's home being built. Um, I'm getting excited about doors, <laughs> I'm getting excited about showers, these cute little ladders that, um, that Liam's built in for us to get up to the bed and yeah just we've made a bit of a layout on the floor as well just showing where everything's gonna go and it's just brilliant <laughs> 
Um, one thing actually that I wanted to speak about is um, we, we've got a door um, that Liam's going to put in for us. We need, because this is such a tall van, we need a step for it. Um, I've got ideas, they've got ideas, and I'm just going to talk about it now, but I've got to get down from here. I'm going to do this. This is the reason why we need steps. It's so high. Ugh. So yes, this is where the door ends here. And obviously, if I kneel down, that's right at the top of my head. So that's the height of the gap that we have to climb up. And they're talking about stairs that sort of come out here. And that's good when we're parked up somewhere that we're sort of staying for, but for a while, but if we are just sort of parked up and want to nip in and out without making a big palaver with the, all the steps and stuff i would personally love it just to have like a bracket coming down here that you can nip up on quickly and get in and out really quickly without having to get the stairs out or set them up or you know do anything like that i'd just like a bit of like a foot hook that you can just hook your foot up and hop in really quickly so um if anyone's got any ideas of that the sun started to set and we continued to discuss the van build with Liam the Terrible. We still had those mixed feelings of nerves and excitement and we were fully aware that in not much time at all, this big green removals van will be our new home. Subscribe and hit the thumbs up button and join us next week as we show you more updates on the van project. Hey, with you and I, the future.